Hi everyone, welcome back to another tutorial by IT Conflict Computer Repair in Austin, Texas, and today I'm going to be showing you guys, we're going to be working on a Dell Inspron 1564 a laptop, and what we'll be doing on this video is removing the RAM module, I'm sorry, removing the RAM, and if you needed to replace the RAM, test the RAM, whatever you needed to do with this computer, you can do it by simply just removing these three screws, and revealing the RAM slots and RAM that's plugged in. So let's begin. The first thing I'm going to do is remove the battery and anytime you're working on any laptop you want to remove the battery. What I'm going to do is move the battery over to the release position and just slide the battery out just like so. There we go. Battery should come right out and I'm going to be, u I'm going to be using a screwdriver this is a standard Phillips star screwdriver let's see if I can get a decent uh, the lights on but uh, you get the idea the first thing I'm going to be doing is just going to these three screws here and unscrewing those screws if you might have seen in my other video I did before this one I am removing the hard drive and you'll see how easy it is just to remove the RAM so you unscrew these three screws, you take off this bottom panel by snapping it off. You want to be gentle with it, you don't want to crack a panel and have to order one on Amazon or something. It comes right off. I think these screws, yep, these screws don't come off either. They stay inside, kind of like what Mac does or other computers. Okay, so what do we have? We have our hard drive, our system battery, our wireless LAN card and our RAM. And what we're going to be doing on the RAM is just on the sides here you want to release the RAM by pulling out on these notches and the RAM should come right out like so. Here on the bottom one sometimes it's difficult if you have you know bigger hands or fingers like mine or, or not necessarily guitarist play or guitarist fingers more like a bass player or something but <laughs> Um, you can take the RAM cards out just by pulling those notches outward and the RAM slides out just like so. So let's pretend that we had the new RAM. We're going to install it now. You line up the RAM with the notch that's on the board. You slide it in. You want to be gentle. Go ahead and just hear it and you'll feel it snap back into place and you want to get the RAM in just the second one demand B it snaps back on and there you go you've either upgraded your RAM I believe on a 64-bit OS this will support 8 gigabytes of RAM this is two four gigabyte I'm sorry two two gigabyte sticks but you can get an upgrade kit at Fry's or any other electronic store and it's not too expensive to get eight gigs on the system if you have a 64-bit OS so you want to make sure that you do have a 64-bit OS that it supports that much RAM so now that we've replaced the RAM we've upgraded the RAM we did whatever we needed to do with with the RAM we can put the panel back on put the panel in from the bottom here it should snap into place again be gentle with it you don't want to have to order a panel on Amazon or anything uh, there we go get those screws back on there not too tight you don't want anything to break or anything like that there you go everything sits in place the panel is flat I can put my battery back in and I would test this computer. I would simply just turn it on. If you guys have any questions or concerns, please leave them in the comment section on youtube.com forward slash IT Conflict. Our website is www.itconflict.com. You can find us on Facebook. That's facebook.com forward slash IT Conflict. Please like us on there, guys. Follow us on Twitter. That's twitter.com forward slash IT Conflict. And again, my name is Eric with IT Conflict Computer Repair in Austin, Texas. Thanks for watching.